Buying a home is a pretty big deal for most Americans. It's a process that takes time and energy and quite a bit of paperwork. Finding a realtor is the first step in buying a new home. First you find them, then you call them, and then you meet with them, typically at a casual setting somewhere, like a coffee shop. After filling out paperwork with your realtor, a sort of formal contract agreeing that you will work with them and them only, you get to go and begin your search for houses. When you begin your search for houses, the process can be quite painful. You take lots of trips to different places and search for the house that fits all the different specifications that you are looking for. Many houses on the market have been foreclosed on, like this one, which oftentimes can make the buyer a little weary. And so, as it were, you begin your trip on to the next house. Pointing out key features like stained glass windows, cute little decorations, make you feel more at home and make the interested buyer, well, more interested. An important part of showing houses is actually showing the house. They walk you through the house. This is the kitchen and look at the beautiful cabinets. And then they take you into a different room, such as the bedroom. When you go into the bathroom, you want to check the water pressure. Is it good enough for you? Would that be a problem in the future? Not all houses are occupied, and even some of the houses that look occupied are actually staged, just so that you feel like they're occupied and it makes you more interested in the home. Can you envision your own stuff inside of this house? Dropping off a business card at the end of a showing is kind of like marking your territory and showing that you've been here to show this house. It's helpful for other realtors to know who's been there, and it's also good for clients to see that there are a lot of interested people in this specific location. Once again, it is on to the next house. A recurring feature that Cal was looking for in his homes that happens to be in the Hamlin Midway neighborhood is the front porch rooms. This house was vacant, and it almost felt colder when you walked in compared to the house with all the items in it. A three-level home with many interesting colors on the walls, from oranges to greens to beige. Allowing future homeowners to see different parts of the house such as this is a way to reassure them that the house is up to cope. Out of the basement and up to the third level we go. Being able to get in and touch things and use them as if they were your own is yet another way for the buyers to become more interested in the home. Before I forget, we better drop off another business card. Once the search is over for the home of your dreams, you have to go back to that said coffee shop and sign even more paperwork. It appears that Cow has found the home of his dreams. He will pay one million dollars cash and the home will be his. After you've crossed all your T's and dotted all your I's, the realtor gets to do the thing that they love the most. Hang the sold sign Hanging a sold sign for a realtor is the icing on the cake. This means that they've done their job correctly and they've found the buyer the home of their dreams. This also means that the lucky buyer can move in to this newfound home and really make it their own. The final meeting of the realtor and the buyer comes towards the end. It is here that they exchange the keys to the home and they also take the lockbox off, and it is finally yours. Now we can finally take our shoes off, kick back, read a magazine, and enjoy the little things in life. 